Edo here, and I have another guest reviewer. His name is Daniel Zayas, and many of you might not know this guy. He's actually the like founder, developer, and blogger for Meeple Mechanic, The Meeple Mechanic. It's a site that is very data-focused on the Kickstarter and board game space, and he's just doing all sorts of awesome stuff like Kickstarter Badger and just tons of cool things. Came out of nowhere and has just been making a name for himself very quickly with that site. Awesome, awesome work. He's going to be uh, talking about Jaipur. I've never played Jaipur, but I have to say, four guest reviewers wanted to review that game. It must be awesome. Let's hear about it. Thanks. Hello, Internet. I am Daniel Zayas. I'm here to talk to you today about Jaipur. Jaipur is a really, really fun game. I hand-selected it when Edo asked me to be part of the series. Why is it fun? It's super easy to learn. Um, it's a really fast game. And even in spite of that, its complexity is is through the roof, in my opinion. Um, its re replayability is through the roof, in my opinion. Um, the the fact that it's a two-player game is awesome. Um, I like that there's still games coming out that specifically say uh, one number for the amount of players that um, can play. Um, that's a detractor for a lot of people. I, I like it when, when a game is specifically designed and perfected for a certain amount of players. Um, so what is this game? You are a trader in a bazaar and you are trying to become the richest trader and earn the Maharaja's favor. Um, you do so by collecting goods and trading them in for rupees. Um, like I said, this is a very, very simple gameplay. Um, you're essentially picking up cards and putting them down. That's, that's it. Um, the complexity comes from the fact that you are dealing with a goods market. Um, when you pick up cards... Uh, you are, you could potentially be giving your opponent cards that they need. Um, when you lay them down, if you've ever played Rummy, then you already know uh, half the game. You create sets in your hand and you lay them down and you trade them in for rupees. Um, another big complex part of this game is that you want to be the first person to lay down sets of goods. Um, whether that's gold or platinum or diamonds or, or dyes. Um, the reason is because you'll, you're getting these little chips here. I'll just show you these little chips here. Whenever you trade in a set of three, you'll get three chips. If you lay down a set of five, you'll get five chips, etc. Um, but if you get there first with a specific type of good, you're going to end up getting a better return than your opponent who might lay down the same type of good later. Um, it, it plays really fast. It's a best two out of three. And even with best two out of three, it still plays in under 20 minutes I've played. Um, it's, it's a great game, um, especially if you are um, waiting for people at game night or you're in between games. It's a great uh, game to, to, to play. I think everyone should play it, and I think everyone should own it. And that is my review. Thank you. And that was Daniel reviewing Jaipur. Cool game. Again, that site, themeeplemechanic.com. Absolutely worth your attention. Do check it out. Otherwise, play some good games, subscribe, share, and see you later. Thanks.